Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 13th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to talk about some extreme weather that the eastern U.S. is experiencing as it relates to a persistent trough pattern in the jet stream over the North American East, which recently dipped pretty deep toward the uh, southeastern U.S. and as the main limb of the polar jet pinched off toward the north, it created a cu an upper a cutoff upper level low over the eastern U.S., which is now spawning a number of very severe thunderstorms across the U.S. northeast and running in through the central U.S. with present severe weather warnings for Washington, D.C., according to the Capital Weather Game Gang, with the potential for hail and very severe rainfall, as well as reports across parts of New Jersey, which are experiencing flash flooding along roadways in the region. And as you can see here, there's a, a big pileup due to flash flooding, according to ABC News. So this extreme weather pattern that we are seeing at present is, is part of a larger dipole pattern that, that I've been talking about a lot recently where we tend to see hot, dry weather and wildfires in the west with extreme rains, extreme storms, and flooding in the east. This pattern has a signature fingerprint for human-caused climate change due to polar amplification effects, which reduce the temperature between the pole and the equator, tending to cause the jet stream to meander more. An additional lo more local effects or regional effects, such as much warmer than normal sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific and a cool pool south of Greenland have tended to enhance ridge patterns in the west for North America and trough patterns in the east. Both the warm pool in the eastern Pacific and the cool pool south of Greenland are related to human-caused climate change in that melting sea ice in the Arctic, according to recent science, has a handshake between warming Pacific Ocean waters and will tend to warm the northern Pacific more, thus enhancing ridge patterns in the jet stream and Greenland melt helps to develop a cool pool in the North Atlantic by flushing fresh water into this region and reducing sea surface temperatures as a result. So just a overview of, of the various factors that are helping to enhance this extreme weather pattern which are related to human-caused climate change. Now, taking a closer look at precipitation totals, I just want to call your attention to the weekly precipitation totals for the United States and note that areas in, in dark red here are showing precipitation totals for the week at 0 to 5 percent of average and areas in purple are showing precipitation totals at 600 percent of average or six times normal pre precipitation rates in this case rainfall rates and so as we're looking at the u.s west we see a an extraordinary extraordinarily broad region for the past week which ex experienced much lower than normal precipitation levels. And in large regions across the U.S. East, in particular in hot spots, running from the south and east and up into the northeast and, and into the south central and parts of, of the southwest with some monsoonal moisture coming in. But, but note these, these hot spots where precipitation has greatly Ex exceeded typical levels for this time of year. So the 
But the dipole weather pattern with a ridge in the west and the trough in the east helping to generate extreme heat and ex extreme dryness and extreme wildfires in the west is also helping to enhance extraordinarily strong storms in the east and, and much higher than typical rainfall rates, particularly for, for hotspot regions across large sections of the east. And today we are, we are seeing another spate of severe weather in association with this pattern. So for those of you in the northeast and in the central, south central U.S., please stay alert and, and stay alert to local weather, emergency weather briefings from the National Weather Surface Service and, and make, sto make sure you, you remain safe and, and get out of the, the way of any severe weather that is currently ongoing. So thank you for joining me and I'll be chatting with you soon.